The Navy is trying to turn its 70 acre Navwar campus into a complex of high rise buildings, but not everyone supports that plan. Our Fox 5's Ashley Jacobs is joining us live now from the Midway District with this ongoing debate. Ashley. Kathleen, good evening to you. There are actually several different potential plans in the works, each one costing billions of dollars, and several San Diegans are saying that our politicians aren't listening to residents. Instead, they're just seeing dollar signs. The city wants to create a narrative that people are against development. What we're against is our neighborhoods being destroyed. The Naval Information Warfare System Command, better known as NAVWAR, is going through some big changes. This old building will be out, and the Navy is considering plans to maximize the value of more than 70 acres. The idea of having America's finest city, in large part, has become more of a slogan than a reality. These renderings show some of the potential redevelopment plans, including high-rise luxury condos and a massive transit station, potentially eliminating room for coastal community access. They want to jam so many people there that if you are a private citizen living in El Cajon, Santee, or even East San Diego, you have no chance to get to the beach. This is coastal property. This is not inland property. Coastal property is what makes San Diego special. Tuesday, members from the group Save Our Access announced they'd hired a lawyer to file a brief in response to the Navy's environmental impact statement, saying the city and Navy's plans will have a crippling effect on San Diego's quality of life. The city's saying build, 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 but there's no requirement or very little for affordable housing. And unfortunately, our community is tired of being sold out to the highest bidder you know, our community is here and our elected officials are here to serve us. A spokesperson for the Navy tells Fox 5 the Navy welcomes all official comments and is pleased to see the level of engagement from the community. While this is federal land, the Navy recognizes that any new redevelopment on this site should bring benefit to the community where our sailors live, work and play, which is why we have provided a longer public comment period. Public comment was originally scheduled to end on May 14th, but it has been extended to August 12th. And I did reach out to Mayor Gloria's office. We have not heard back from his office yet, but Andrew and Kathleen, we did hear from Representative Scott Peters staff within the last hour, and they said that he is taking step in every part of what they're calling a transparent process, and that he ultimately hopes to build a space with community out, um, outdoor areas for biking, walking, picking, you name it picnicking, excuse me, you name it, and all of that good stuff. We'll send it back to you. All right, Ashley Jacobs for us. Thank you so much.